Here is the latest thing that's causing me to scratch my head. I am trying to use some wonderful code that a man named Colin has written to talk to Tesla BMS boards. So here I've got two. These, as you can see, Tesla Model S. These are what sit on the ends of the modules from the battery or the battery modules inside the Tesla battery case. Um, they are wired. They speak on a network, but not a CAN network as far as I can tell. I think it's more of a TTL network, which is something that I know a little bit about, but not a lot. So there's how they're wired. Get all this from the GitHub page. Um, that good guy, Colin. So these are wired up like that, where we have them speaking to an Arduino ESP32 DUA board. Um, and then via what I think might be my problem, which is a voltage converter. The Arduino here, unlike a lot of other Arduinos, doesn't type like 5 volts. These run on 5 volts, so their signal is running coming through at 5 volts. This only wants 3.3 .3 volts. So this is basically a thing that passes the voltage, uh, passes the signal along, but drops the voltage. So it's got it's quite funny LV and HV yes, when it's talking about HV here it's talking about 5 volts whereas I'm used to dealing with 500 volts I guess there's were linesmen out there who are used to dealing with 500,000 so yeah it's all relative but anyhow that should be passing the information through so we should be able to communicate from here to these and then if these are actually connected to a battery module we should then be able to see what the batteries are up to and write some kind of a program to go on here to manage the batteries appropriately. However, I have managed to make quite a bit of progress compared to where I was even two days ago, yesterday. So I can get the software onto the board nicely. Um, but here's what I get out of it. So I can get to start up, start the serial interface. And then I chucked a little debug message in there to see if it was doing things that I thought it was, and it was. And then we get where we are sending, but not receiving. So that suggests to me that there is some kind of a communication error. Um, and it does that for, well, less than a second by the looks of that. It starts up at 0.48, ends at 0.526, so what's that? 0.04 of a second, not long. Um, and then it gets to a bit where I then put another debug, debug, debug um, line in just to find if it was getting to another part of the code, which, as you can see, it was. Uh, it just keeps on going. It will just fill your screen with that if you let it. So, yeah, I've got to figure out why it's not communicating. Um, I've confirmed that I'm getting 3 volts down this communication line and 3 volts on here, 5 volts on here. I've tried reversing the RX and the TX in case I'd done that wrong. I am not 100% confident that I've got my wiring right, but I'm 90%. I'm going for that. I've got a feeling that maybe this, this little level adapter, I think they call it, may have some kind of a frequency restriction in it or not be able to handle it. We are running at quite a high frequency. I'm just going to see if I can get it right rather than trying to remember it badly. There we go. 617647. So that's like 600 kbps I think, which is an odd and fairly high rate. Anyway, there you go. That's what's keeping me out of trouble. The weather's been horrible the last few days, so this has been a good project, but now I should stop it and get out and into the sun, which is what I'm going to do. All right, I hope you haven't been entirely bored by this video. Um, yeah, and if you've got any helpful suggestions on how I can make progress here, then I'm all ears. Cheers. Thank you.